So after you have your uh, door resting, so right now we're doing the follow up of the cannolis on how to roll the dough, how to cut it, and how to shape it. So you're gonna press your dough like this. You're gonna use a pin roller, just a little flour. And we're gonna stretch our masa, just like if we were doing fresh pasta, okay? So you're gonna stretch it like this, and then to the sides. Make sure it's nice and thin, so that way your cannolis are not too heavy. Unless you want it, you know, nice and thick, it's gonna be optional. Just dust your table a little bit, one side only. Same thing. See? Like that. And to the sides. So remember that I told you that we had a um, cannoli set and this one I'm pretty sure you can find them online just you know put cannoli um, kits and I'm sure you're gonna find it online because this one my wife remind me that it was a gift from one of his co-workers and this is a cannoli course and this is from Sicily okay so it comes with a dozen of tubes, the recipe in the back and the filling, and this is the cutter. This is the size for the cannolis. So when you have your dough like this, we're gonna cut it, press, and then whatever dough we have left, we're gonna reuse it again, okay? okay just like that, same thing. This one you can, reshape it and do it again. If it's by like that, it's okay, no worries. We can hide that. So now, you're gonna need one quart of a frying oil, or corn oil. Make sure it's nice and hot, but leave it in a three, a three quarters. You can use your uh, thermometer and have it at 350, just like a frying. So now, you're gonna need a whole egg. You're gonna beat it. You can use water if you want. And then I'm gonna need some uh, half a cup of sugar, one tablespoon of uh, cinnamon. And this is for dusting. This is gonna be optional at the end. And remember we had the uh, filling, the cannoli filling. I got a video in this one too. So that way you can do the steps and know how to make, you know, step by step. Like I said, this is a very simple video, but you have to know how to make the steps. Otherwise, you know, you don't, it's like three different steps that you have to do before you do the cannolis. So the tubes, lift, and we're gonna seal it with the egg wash. So that way we can hide that one and press. Because if you don't put the egg wash, it's gonna open, okay? So. Right here, lift, that wash. And then we're gonna pan fry them. So I'm just gonna finish with this and we're gonna bring it to the pan fry. So make sure you hot your oil is a little hot, not burnt, but you know, hot. Okay, we'll put this one a little bit more. See, it shrinks. So, okay. Wash it, press into the fryer. So let's go to the fryer. We're gonna put them in the oil with the sim down. Okay. And I have it now in a medium high. So about 350 in the temperature. 
And we're gonna do four at a time. You can do as much as you want. And then we're gonna remove it from the tube. So for that, you're gonna need either a spoon or a fork. So that way you can take them out after. So I'm gonna let them cook a little bit, a couple minutes. And then I'm gonna show you how to take them out out of the tube. And now you're gonna take them out out of the tube. So you can use a napkin so that way you know you don't burn yourself and finish them in the middle. Okay. So now you can do this over here too. And then press it down. But you have to be very careful. See don't let it burn. That one is a little bit burn. Okay, now we're gonna toss it. So you let it uh, remove out the excess of the oil. Then you're gonna toss it with sugar and cinnamon, okay? So let it cool down a little bit, and then toss them on the sugar. This is gonna be optional. If you wanna put them in sugar, that's fine. If not, you can leave it without. Let it cool down, and then we're gonna finish them with the stuffing. So well, after you have your cannolis, on, you know, already cooled down, now we're gonna fill it, pipe it with the cannoli filling. Just like that. And then just one more. The crispy one. See? So now you're gonna finish it with some of the, you can use the color candy, you know, the grajea, or the same chocolate chip. Coconut, whatever you want to put in the tip, that's fine. It's going to be up to you. See? Or you can leave it plain. So hopefully, you guys like this video on how to do the cannolis, the stuffing, and fry them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow us on Chef Alex Perez on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. And happy holidays. Look at this. I got this one over here, mine. Joy.